Welcome back to the channel for Right Time Watches here in Denver, Colorado. Today we're so happy to share with you a watch from one of our newer brands here at Right Time, Reservoir. The watch we're looking at today is the Reservoir Tiefenmesser Bronze. With the bronze watch craze in full swing, we hope you'll enjoy this look at a watch that is criminally overlooked. Before we get in too deep, we'll invite you to subscribe to our channel and join us for a look at some of our favorite new watches and a look at some older classics. Before we open this up, I thought it would be worth taking a second to talk about this gorgeous box. The wood grain is stained this tasty gray black color with a perfect lacquered shine finish. Reservoir has obviously spared no expense for the display of this watch, something that is usually reserved for quite a higher price tier. Now let's go ahead and open this box up and take a look at the watch. Look at that. Oh, I love this already. The watch is built in a hardy 43 millimeter bronze case. The case is a classic shape, but that's about all that's familiar on this watch. The watch has a retrograde minutes hand that mimics the look of a speedometer. You'll also notice that there is a nicely executed jump hour function down here at the bottom. And the last special complication worth noting is the power reserve indicator at the very bottom of this beautiful white dial. In this particular model, the power reserve is shown with dots. The strap on this watch is attractive and thick and is complete with this awesome deployant style clasp. It is signed here on the holder in bronze with the clasp mechanism being decorated steel. The build quality is outstanding and again the attention to detail is ever evident. The back of the case has a partial exhibition case back showcasing the ETA 2824 based movement. Obviously, as we discussed, this is no standard ETA. In tandem with the movement, there is a reservoir module that gives us those three amazing complications that we discussed earlier. I'll demonstrate for you now how that retrograde minute hand works. Obviously, we've got a screw down crown here at three o'clock, or what would normally be three o'clock. And if we pop this open to set the time, we can see that this moves just like normal. But what happens is when you move this past 60, that minute hand jumps all the way across the bottom of the dial back over to double zero. And you see the hour change here in the jump hour function. Let's do it again. That is just so much fun. It's a truly unique complication that you don't see very often and would be really a lot of fun to add to any collection. Also, this watch is hand wind capable and I'll wind it here to show you how that power reserve indicator functions down at the bottom of the dial. As you wind, you'll notice those dots fill up. Here's a look at the watch on my eight inch wrist. At 43 millimeters, the watch feels substantial, but doesn't look overly large. Even though this is a beefy watch, I don't feel you need a wrist quite as big as mine to feel comfortable wearing this stunning piece. This watch really is beautiful and an exciting change of pace and would make a great addition to any collection. If you'd like to purchase this or any of our other watches, please visit us at righttime.com or give us a call. As always, thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you next time at Right Time.